Hello and welcome back to my another tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to share with you how to set up Chip Link AC1350 Wi Fi router as an access point. So let's take a look. You might be recently brought this Chip Link AC1350 Wi Fi router, and somehow, or some cases, you would like to set this Wi-Fi router as an access point and also you might be want to uh, customize the default uh, uh, username which is called Wi-Fi name and also you would like to change the uh, password. So all these things I'm going to share with you in this video. Now you can see I had successfully uh, plugged my uh, chip link router with the power adapter and also I have turned on and then after turn on we will see there will be a uh, power on light indicator. Anyway, after uh, turn on, you need to uh, jump over in your uh, desktop, laptop, or whatever device you have, or even in mobile device. So now we can see in our uh, laptop or desktop, we will see the same Wi Fi name which is here written. So we're going to connect uh, any of uh, we will see there is a two Wi Fi one is 2.4 gigahertz and then it's 5 gigahertz. So we're going to connect any of them. So I'm going to type here tplink 1777 and then I'm going to click here connect and then we'll see there is a password. So you need to type this password to connect it our Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to click, uh, type the password 76351129 and after that I'm going to click here next and we'll see this is going to be connect. After uh, connecting uh, with our uh, desktop or laptop, whatever network with this uh, Wi-Fi router, we'll see here it's now connected. So we need to, if we want to uh, rename this Wi-Fi name or rename the default password or accept uh, all this setup, you need to jump over this address bar, which is http tplinkwifi.net. So I'm going to uh, open my anyway browser and then I'm going to type here uh, this web address. So I'm going to type here HTTP and then it's saying uh, colon for slash tip link. So T P tip link L I N K tip link Wi-Fi dot N E T. And then I'm going to type here enter. When you click enter, it uh, will take little time to uh, load the page. And now it's saying to please create an administrator password to manage your uh, RTRC90. So anyway, you have to, uh, this is when you turn on this, uh, our setup, this router for the first time, you need to uh, type a admin password. So I'm going to type here my uh, remember admin password. So I'm going to type here admin password obviously you need to remember for because whenever future you need to modify your router uh, you need to log in through this admin password anyway i type my password and i'm going to click here let get start and now we will see this uh, uh, router uh, it's set up it's saying to uh, let's get start anyway now it will give you option uh, to uh, 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 the here is saying that please time uh, time zone. So I'm going to type here. Actually, I'm currently now in Riyadh. So I'm going to choose here the Riyadh. Anyway, it's uh, not selecting. Let me go again and select the Riyadh. And then I'm going to click here next. And then it's saying to select your connection type. If you are not sure, please uh, click auto detect. So if you are uh, not sure, you can choose auto detect or if you why if you want to make your Wi-Fi router some other way like if you have a like dynamic IP, static IP, PPP or L2TP or PPTP whatever you want you can easily set. I'm going to choose the dynamic IP and then I'm going to click here next. After that it's saying to if you uh, if you uh, ISP only allow the internet access to specify MAC address do not clone MAC address clone current computer MAC address. I'm going to click here do not clone make address. I'm going to click here next, and then here is uh, two Wi-Fi. We know this uh, uh, Tplink AC1350 Wi-Fi router has uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless among and there is 5 gigahertz wireless. Here is uh, your uh, network name. You can easily type here whatever name you want. So, let, uh, for example, I'm going to type here 
uh, my name, Rahim, uh, Wi-Fi, and then we're going to type here the password. So you can type here whatever password you want. So I'm going to type here uh, my uh, password is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I'm going to type here my Wi-Fi password. And here's the other 5 gigahertz wireless. If you decide to rename these two, you can go here or rename this like uh, Rahim, let me type here Rahim Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz gigahertz, okay, this is like for me to remember, so I'm going to type here the password 0000, 000, 000, 000 and my name and after that obviously you need to uh, uh, you can here hide SSD if you decide or if you decide to unhide, you can keep as it is and you can make it here next. So I'm going to click here next. After that, we will see the uh, our Wi-Fi uh, SSD name and the password. So uh, let me uh, take a screenshot for me to remember. Anyway, and then we will click here save. And after I click save, this uh, router uh, going to be uh, configured with this new Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password and which is going to be a uh, Wi-Fi route. Anyway, we're going to see here, see, uh, say this is the your Wi-Fi name, those for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and those are the password. We're going to click here next. And now after click next button, uh, definitely you need to reconnect your wallet device. So this router is going to be restart and saying to sorry we detect that you have not rec uh, reconnected your wireless network. So we're going to click here okay and then we, go, we will see uh, actually this has successfully set up and this router got restart now previously this wi-fi router name was different and, and the new wi-fi router is different so that's why it's got this kind anyway we had uh, done the work done so now we're ready to go to start our uh, access point anyway we're going to if i go jump over available section we'll see now we have total two wi-fi uh, name which is uh, just now I had renamed my uh, tippling router name so we're going to connect it with the password so I'm going to type here uh, my current password 000000 and then I'm going to type here the password and I'm going to click here next now uh, you can see I had successfully uh, set up my tippling router I had successfully uh, changed the Wi-Fi name and also I had uh, rename the uh, rename the ssd name with the, also i had choose my professional password and i made it as a access point so within this simple way you can easily uh, set up your chip link router now what you have to do you need to just uh, from your main modem you need to bring the cable and connect from main modem or main switch to here so when you connect uh, your uh, switch here this is one and then this uh, area is going to be covered with this Wi-Fi router. You, you, maybe your floor is uh, uh, third floor or, for, uh, or fourth floor and you main modem in the ground floor. Uh, so you have to uh, bring a cable, connect from uh, ground floor to fourth floor and keep this router there and connect it here. So that's going to be uh, the, in the fourth floor, this router is going to be covered. So within this simple way, uh, you can easily set up your tippling AC 1350 Wi-Fi router. So that's one now. Thanks for watching my video. See you next one. Peace.